great pleasure being here with the Secretary General of the International Maxi Association at Les Voies de Saint Tropez 2023. So great to meet you here. Some words, please. It's uh, wonderful to be here. We've been bringing Maxis here and gradually increasing the standard of racing here for the last five, six years. We've had uh, separate racing for the Maxis because this is an enormous regatta and there's always a problem of trying to put big boats and little boats together and it gets dangerous. So we've given them a lot of advice. We now moved the racing area separate from the smaller boats. We have our own separate race officer and our own race courses. And we have a huge fleet. There's only one regatta in the world that has this many maxis, and that is Porto Cervo, the you know, Costa Porto Cervo, yeah. in, in September, in Italy, right. which is our flagship regatta. Right. But this regatta is bringing in almost as many. We've got four classes of boats to according to their performance. So it's not always the biggest or the fastest. And in fact, today, the two leading boats in our high performance class are actually only 72 foot long, whereas we've got boats of 100 foot long in that same class. And this causes a little bit of friction. But- uh, Why? Because the big guys don't like to be beaten by the little guys. All right, of course. It's like most things with men, it's all about length. <laughs> so, uh, in a way, um, they can be very unreasonable. But what, what we actually aim to do is to bring boats that are equivalent in speed and performance together because you get much better racing. Uh, and it, it, it's been difficult. In the old days, we used to call them racers or cruiser racers or cruisers. And that's again very difficult to define. But we're lucky we have handicap rating systems that means that we can divide boats according to their performance. And that's how we've got the four classes here. And then they have very good racing within their individual classes. And they've had, they've had, this is very unusual. Here. I've been coming here for 30 years actually. 30 not, years? Not, not with Maxis, but with my own boat and other wow, boats. Wow, right. And nearly always this time of year, there's either a Mistral or no wind and you lose one, two, three days. This year we've raced every single day yeah. with no interruption, which yeah. is really, really unique. One. Um, and so we've been very lucky and, it, and had a very good regatta. Wonderful. So as I understand, you um, are managing this association since over 10 years. Yeah. I so um, is it, what's it like the development? Well, when I started, it was... Why did I, you start it? Uh, well, I didn't start it. It started 30 years ago with a group of like-minded Maxi owners just wanting to organise, partly social and partly racing. And then it really it was dying when I was invited to come and help. Because I used to, I was Commodore and Admiral of the Royal Asian Racing Club, which is the, the big club that organises races like the Fastnet. And so they, they headhunted me. Good. And, <laughs> Good decision. And when I came, there was really, there was only the regatta in Costa Smelda, Portocevo. And then since then, we've gradually expanded and gone out to help other clubs to try and raise standards to encourage maxis to go. Because for a, ma a big maxis to come to a regatta, probably costs the owner three or four hundred thousand euros a week. A week? So, so they don't want to come to a badly organized regatta. Mm. So if we give a regatta the, seal, the IMA seal of approval, then it, it's got to be at that standard. So we now look after probably eight regattas in, in the Mediterranean, and we've also opened up in the Caribbean as well. That's an amazing job you did. Uh, yeah, huge the business development, amazing, congratulations. Expanded. When I took over, a lot of the guys who'd started it obviously were older and they'd retired and they stopped racing. And now we've brought on the new generation, we've got a young generation of new owners and we've got an expanding organization. So uh, yeah, we're doing all right. <laughs>
Congratulations, it's our wonderful achievement and words from your part. And this is the anniversary, 25th Saint-Tropez, Les Wild de Saint-Tropez. It's special yeah. for you also, even if you're, if you've been well, here it's always. Quite funny but because it's actually about the 41st. If you put the Neolag in first, which was essentially the same regatta, and then they had this sort of big crisis when they had a big accident, um, and then so they had to restart. But yeah, it's still, an, it's for the sort of fin de saison regatta is the ultimate. And it's stunning. There's nowhere else in the world where you get all these fantastically expensive boats tied to the dock that anybody can just walk along the the sidewalk here and look at these fantastic boats, both the classics and the, and the modern maxes. So it's it impressive. is unique, mm. absolutely unique. Absolutely outstanding, is it? Yeah. Um, so people love it. Congratulations. The town loves it. Congratulations. I wish you all the best for this international Max organization. Thank you for your time and for this very spontaneous interview in this VIP lounge of the. Société Nautique Saint-Tropez. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous.